Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about three new features that Avid have introduced with Pro Tools 12. Now Pro Tools 12 has just come out, it's very brand new, it's probably got lots of glitches and things like that and Avid Cloud, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, um, has not even been introduced yet so it's something that I'm sure many people will be testing over the next few weeks, myself included, and we're going to give you a bit more of a detailed review at a later date. So onto the first thing that has been introduced and it is Avid Cloud. Now this allows artists and media professionals to collaborate in the cloud through the internet uh, like they were in a studio together but they could be anywhere else in the world um, and it still have the same effect, there'd be a very low latency, um, a delay. Another feature of Avid Cloud is that you can store your projects in the cloud. You can take your project from the cloud and work on it straight from there rather than download it onto your computer from your hard drive. Whether this will work very well or not, I'm not sure, and how many people will use it will also be a deciding factor as to its popularity and whether it really gets carried forward. But the really key thing about this is that you can access your work from anywhere without carrying anything around with you. Number two on the list is Avid Marketplace. Now this allows artists and other media professionals to share their work on there. You can also put things up to be bought and sold, so you can use it as a platform at iTunes almost. With Avid Marketplace comes uh, an online community created really, um, and that will depend on how many people really take it on and use it uh, on a daily basis, like they would uh, any type of forum really. I think that's a really good idea because it allows people to get in contact with each other um, from a specific field, from the music field, um, on that specific platform. Final thing I want to talk about is subscriptions. Lots of other software companies have decided to introduce subscriptions and a lot of them are now only subscription alone. Avid has decided not to go for that route, so you can actually buy it outright still, but you can also pay a monthly subscription which gives you Pro Tools, it also gives you a service like 24-7 uh, phoning or contacting them if you need any help. My personal opinion is I think Avid are just trying to get a constant income stream rather than uh, an upfront cost that people pay. A lot of other companies are doing it these days, a lot of the softwares are exclusively subscription based so it's nice to see that they're keeping that upfront payment just for a while at least for this Pro Tools. I'll be testing Pro Tools out a bit more um, and the features of Avid Cloud and Avid Marketplace alongside that and I may do a review uh, that goes into more depth of what it's about and how well it works really and how many people take it on. Thanks for watching guys, if you like the video feel free to like and subscribe, feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below if there's anything you liked or if you didn't like let me know and I'll see you in the next one.